it's Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel today's video I'm going to show you how to make a super simple cozy for your freezer pops these are just your basic size freezer pops and it's freezing to hold them and try to eat them and so we came up with a really fun and simple pattern that you can just slide it on like a little sock and then when you're done you can just toss them in a basket or put them in the wash with your towels and they wash up great and then you don't freeze your hands while you're trying to eat your popsicle now this simple pattern is on my blog and you can find that link in the notes underneath this video to make the freezer pop cozies you're going to need some cotton yarn I highly recommend that you use the cotton yarn because as you're eating the freezer pop it's going to sweat and the cotton will absorb that sweat now you'll notice I have lots of different colors and styles here and what I did is I just started using up my leftover cotton so that I can make a bunch of these for when my grandkids visit the yellow one is their favorite you know why it's my favorite color <laughs> You're only going to need about half an ounce of cotton yarn. I've got some peaches and cream here. Any of the peaches and cream, any one that is either a cotton blend or 100% cotton that's a medium four will work for this pattern. You are going to need one stitch marker. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can use a safety pin or maybe a paper clip or just another piece of yarn because we're going to be stitching in rounds we won't be doing any joining and this will help us keep track of our rows we're going to be stitching with our H hook which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook and then of course you'll need your scissors we're going to begin with our slip knot and then we're going to chain three We're going to place six single crochets and the second chain from the hook. One, two. All right, so we'll go in that second chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six so we have six single crochets that's how row one should look for row two we're going to place two single crochets in each of these six now we're not going to join we're going to go right into the next single crochet and stitch two single crochets so one and two now we want to take that stitch marker and put it right in that first single crochet and this is going to tell us where our first stitch for row two is all right so we stitch two in the first one and we need to do that to these next five So we had six single crochets on the first row, and so now we have 12 on row two. Here's our stitch marker marking our first stitch for our next row. We're going to go ahead and slide that out. We're going to put it back in in just a second. All right, for row three, we're going to place one single crochet in each of the 12 single crochets around. We're not joining. We're going right to that first single crochet and stitching one single crochet. Now we're going to take our stitch marker and mark that single crochet. And that's going to tell us that that's the first single crochet of row three. All right, so now we're going to stitch one single crochet in each single crochet around. And that's going to give us 12 again. All 
All right, so we're back around. And you'll notice it's starting to curl up a little bit. That's what we want it to do. All right, so we pull the stitch marker out. And again, for row four, we're going to stitch one single crochet in each single crochet around. So I stitched my first, and I moved my stitch marker to the first single crochet. That again tells me that's the first stitch for row four. There's one. There's 11 and 12. We stitched one single crochet in each single crochet around. And what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to notice that there's a hole. All right. So we're going to spread this out just a little bit and that's going to help us put that on our needle. And before we finish, our freezer pop cozy, we're going to go ahead and close this up because we're going to be stitching a long tube-like thing and we will have a hard time closing up this hole. Sometimes you'll get this hole and sometimes you won't. If you do, just stitch around that first row of single crochets and gather it closed. We have to weave this end in anyway, so we might as well close up that hole. All right, so I, what I do is I go all the way around one way just like that, I make a stitch up, and then I turn around and come the way, the opposite way that I went. Looks like I've got an extra little string here, so I'm gonna cut that off, and then I'll cut that. One of my strings came off of my tail. All right, so now we're going to flip this out, and you can see this is the bottom of our freezer pop koozie. We've closed up that hole and now we're ready to finish our freezer pop koozie. And what we're going to do is we're going to repeat what we did on row four, one single crochet in each of the 12 single crochets, move our stitch marker to the next row and repeat. Because remember, we're not joining, we're doing a continuous round. And you're going to repeat this for 19 more rows. And when you repeat this for 19 rows, it's going to get you about a six and a half to seven inch freezer pop koozie. All right, so we'll take our stitch marker out. We'll stitch one single crochet in each of the 12 single crochets around and we will repeat this for 19 more rows. And because we did the first four, that's going to get us up to row 23. Now, when you reach row 23, do not cut your yarn because we're going to do a finishing row. I've stitched up through row 23, one single crochet and each single crochet around. I'm going to remove my stitch marker Let's go a little bump. There we go. And what we're going to do for our last row is we're going to stitch a row of slip stitches around the top just to give it a finished edge. So we'll go in the next stitch, pull up the loop, and pull that loop through the loop on our hook. And we'll do this in each of the stitches around. And this is just going to give us a nice, a nice finished edge that looks just like a little braid going around the top. All right, you go in, pull up a loop, then pull that loop through the loop on your hook in each of the 12 stitches going all the way around the top. There we go, almost there. All right, so now I've reached back where I started my slip stitches. 
So I'm going to pull that loop just a little bit. I'm going to go behind the next set of stitches with my hook. If I can get it in there, there we go. I'm just gonna pull that loop to the inside. There we go. I'm going to cut my yarn. and tie that off. And that just gives it a little bit better finished edge around. And then we'll use our needle to weave this in. Now this is just a basic cozy for your freezer pops. If you want to add some bunny ears or a little face or whatever you want, you certainly can. Now I'm weaving this in to the inside so it stays put because these are going to get a lot of use this summer. And I'm just going back and forth in those stitches and then I'm going to clip that off. But like I said, it's just a basic cover or cozy for your pops and you can add anything to it. Bunny ears, bear ears, little faces, silliness, change your colors as often as you want and make stripes. And here's all the other ones that I made. You can see I just used all my leftover cotton yarns to make something fun and useful. I think I need a popsicle. <laughs>